Hey YouTube family, this is Clashing with Andre and welcome back to another episode. So I have been getting a ton of questions about how to farm without your heroes and specifically your archer queen. In this episode, I'm going to tell you guys how to farm without your royals, whether it be your king, queen, or both. Because honestly, it's not a simple question to answer. There's a lot of stuff that actually goes into it. But first, I'd just like to thank all of my subscribers. We actually just hit 3,000 subscribers today. I think I'm sitting at 3,010 subscribers right now, and I just really want to give you guys a shout out because without you guys, I would not be here today. And I know that I haven't been posting a lot, but that's because I've been busy with school, with work, with extracurricular activities, with making YouTube videos. Like, it takes a while to actually get good clips for you guys edit the clips, put music, voice it over and everything. Plus, I'm actually trying to start up a business right now, so it takes a long time to get these videos out. And I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be putting out videos as much as I can. So I wanna thank the subscribers that have actually stuck around, even though I haven't been posting videos every day. I really appreciate it. But let's get back to the video, guys, and talk about what I'm gonna be covering in this episode, which is gonna be a whole bunch of strategies, why I picked those strategies, what strategies you should specifically use, what trophy league you should be in, depending on what strategy you're using, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's get started with this. So I get asked all the time, my Archer Queen isn't high enough level to do Super Queen, my Archer Queen or King is being upgraded at the moment, so what strategy should I use to farm? This is a very interesting question and it takes a lot of thought actually because it depends on a lot of things. Like for example, how much time you actually have to farm. If you have a shield, your troop levels, what you're actually used to using, how long you can play for, etc, etc, etc. So honestly, there are a ton of different kinds of strategies that do not specifically rely on your king and queen. Now that being said, you obviously are going to get less loot since your king or queen is being upgraded. So here are some of the attack strategies that I think are the best for farming when your king, queen, or both are being upgraded. So BAM, which is a combination of barbs, archers, and minions. BAG, which is barbarians, archers, and goblins. As you can tell on the screen, I've been using a combination of that, and I've just been specifically dropping trophies. So I don't care about winning, but I'm just going for Dark Elixir. I started out with 29,000 Dark Elixir, and by the end of this video, I think I'm around 45k Dark Elixir, with farming for just an hour and not boosting my barracks. There's also g Barch, which stands for Giants, Archers, and Barbarians. I have two different guides of that. One is an older guide, which still works, and then I have a newer guide with four Earthquake spells. So if you want to check those out, just check out my videos. Uh, lava Loon, which is a Lava Hound, and then you have Balloon. Lunion, which is balloons and minions, and then Lava Lunion, which is a combination of both of those previous ones, and then you have a giant healer strategy, which is like G-Barch with healers. But for what I'm going to be showing you guys in the background of this video, it's going to be a combination of BAM and BAG, and as you can see, it works really well in the past three minutes, including searching, I've made 3,497 Dark Elixir, which is pretty insane. So I usually have some kind of cycle that I use for farming. I usually start in Crystal or Master's League, and then use this strategy that you're seeing on the screen to slowly go down to Gold or even Silver League, and by that time I have almost enough Dark Elixir to upgrade another one of my heroes, whether it be my King or my Queen. At that time, I farm all the way back up to Crystal or Master's League, and then I upgrade one of my heroes, which is usually my king at that moment, and then I use my queen to super queen farm in Master's League. But honestly, that's what I like doing for farming, because I don't like doing the same thing over and over again, so I like changing it up. But for the strategies that I told you in the beginning of this video, they will all work for you guys, depending on a whole bunch of different factors, because each one of you is different. Each one of you might have work, class, or you can spend all day playing Clash of Clans. I don't know, so these attack strategies don't rely on your Archer Queen or your King to be successful. The reason I have so many different kinds is because BAM, BAG are really quick, easy strategies that you can use all the time, so it's really great for people that want to farm continuously and have a lot of time. Lava Lunin, on the other hand, takes a long time to train up. 
So that's a better thing to use when you actually have a shield. After you're done with your shield, then you can go to something that's a little bit quicker to train up, and some people like to gym and boost their barracks, some other people don't like to do it. So depending on all these different kinds of factors, you want to choose the right one for you. Also, troop level is a huge thing. If you don't have your minions up, then you're not going to want to do BAM, which is barbs, archers, and minions. Another thing is, usually the, the troops that you have trained up are the ones that you use periodically and you know how to use them well. So the strategies that you've used before and that you've done it well are usually the ones that you're most successful at attacking bases for. So if you have troops that you've never used before, like I know a lot of people either don't use a lot of ground troops or they don't use a lot of air troops, you're not going to want to do Lava Lunion to start off for farming because first of all it takes a long time to train up, second of all it takes a lot of elixir and a lot of dark elixir, but if you're not good at it then you're not going to get a whole lot of loot with farming. So depending on all those different kinds of factors, you're going to want to find the best troop combination for yourself because I can't give you that one be-all answer where it's like g -Barch is the best, hands down, because you might be better with different troops. You might always do air troops or air attacks and that works perfectly for you. But one thing I can definitely tell you is that if you're used to farming in Masters or Champions League, you should definitely stay up there because the bonus is amazing. If you're not used to that, you might want to go down to Gold, Silver, or even Crystal League because if you look at my previous videos, the loot down there is amazing. Even though you don't get that extra bonus you would up in Crystal, Gold, or Champions League, the loot still is really good and the bases are a lot easier. So over an hour of farming without boosting, I got 13,000 Dark Elixir. So I know I didn't show you guys all of the different attack compositions that I told you in the beginning of this video, but I'm going to be coming out with strategy guides for each individual one later on. Because I know a ton of you have been asking me that question, and I want to make some videos for you guys to help you out. But that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to smash that like button. It definitely helps my channel grow. Share this with your friends and clanmates, and as always, make sure to be subscribed. Peace! Get, get, get low when the whistle go. Oh,